to Blender Studio Live. Uh, I want to show the progress with my experiment with this open pose for AI uh, art generations. So I've been playing around with this pose maker, and you already know uh, you can try make a pose and try adding like a different character, and then and then you save it, and then you use that image and to generate uh, AI art like in this case I created this girl um, let me sh let me sh yeah I was actually trying to draw like an ogre with a monkey on the shoulder but since since this model is uh, it's more like for anime I think protogen is actually quite robust this model of AI can generate anime or realistic uh, image I'm getting this uh, result it's not perfect I mean I mean the face could be improved but usually you, if you use up rest you're gonna get a much better result but in this case I'm just focusing on the on the pose uh, let me try I can try to generate like eight different result but it's gonna take some time so it's all about the pose so there's a lot of tools actually coming this one is just being posted online today and yeah it's kind of you can generate like random poses and you can you can actually export it out and then you apply it into your character model or you simply use this as a reference to yeah to generate AI art but I'm actually more interested with a. Uh, I know the poses is really important. Like one of the principle of animations is to have like a nice silhouette, silhouette like uh like maybe like a solid pose drawings. Back in the Disney Disney time, so yeah, I've been looking at interesting poses that I could use with AI. And because in the end, I really want to animate. So I have an example here. Okay, this one is something that I generated overnight. So it takes some time to generate something like this. This is uh, almost like 100 frames. And it's actually me dancing on a camera. And I simply convert it into AI. You can see it's not 100% perfect, but but the, the batch conversion from, my, from me dancing, so I, I don't need to I don't need to use mocap. In this case, it's just looking at uh, like a two D Latin space. It's trying to understand the depth and yeah, and then using it. Okay, let me show you the original. Maybe it's more interesting. Dance RGB dance. Okay, okay. Let's say, let's say this is me dancing, right? I'm actually I use a filter on my face so it's look, and you can see my tummy there very funny dancing it's not very re representable if you post this on tiktok okay people might think okay it looks pretty weird doing that but if you convert it to anime suddenly you have like a different avatar and yeah it's slightly more representable you know it's a, it's a i mean your original is also kind of funny but the uh, yeah the anime versions certainly looking much better let me also show you a different one okay this is uh, I think using different model and different prom okay slightly more realistic this is more like an artwork by Ilya Kuvshinov is a Russian artist famous for her or his illustration yeah you get this kind of face let me show you some more example how about this one? Oh yeah this one okay this one also more like Ilya Kuvshin of artwork slightly resembles another artist's artwork but anyway the dance the dance is there, the, the movement is there. 
Okay, this one's slightly more realistic. Sometimes you get something that's a little bit not safe for work, but yeah, it's a uh, it's random. This one maybe I use maybe the weighting or the scale is was not correct. Like okay, this one also we have a squatting person there. Anyway, let me show you the full screen. Just gonna go through frame by frame so yeah, there's a glitch and the costume the dress is keeps changing each and every frame maybe i have to keep the same seed i thought it's actually keeping the same seed but it apparently it doesn't the blurriness perhaps because of the original video it was uh, there's a lot of blur Let me try to show you. Yeah, this one. This one is actually using the textual inversion, so the face is actually very much like uh, what is it called? Ulzang. It's like a doll face. Uh, it looks like every Korean pop dancer face. They all look very similar. Considered to be like beautiful face but you see okay you you can do your own dance make a better dance dance it to the video and extract the frames as a extract the video as a frames using blender um, you can do it really really fast in blender uh, okay yeah if you have like a video for example and you want to ex just crop it or things like that you can you can use blender because uh, it is actually really really fast you just need to specify the cropping size if I want to make this 512 by 512 for example and then you can see okay I need to scale the video and I need to move it up you can actually use GRS just like normally in blender GRS G for grab R for rotate S for scaling or you can use this tool whichever you like and once you have the the cropping that you like you're ready to go and you can output it on on the desktop because you want to prepare this maybe for for image up up rest using AI for example you can you can save it as video or yeah in QuickTime format or you can save it as PNG or JPEG if you are using Mac, just use PNG instead of JPEG. Uh, it's gonna work better for you. And then if you want, okay, in Blender you can easy, easily change the FPS. If you want to make this one frame per second, you can do that, or make it to twenty-four frame per second. That's uh, yeah, pretty fast, fast-looking then. But you can change the FPS very easily. Custom, change the FPS, and then you can render this out. Okay, that's how, uh, I, yeah, the way you use it, you just go to File, New, Video Editing, and then you, you place you place the video image sequence. Uh, where is this original? Let's see, this one. Select all using A, add image strip, and yeah, you know, just scale it group it sometimes you have glitch you see there's a face over there but that's okay you know everything is still work in progress but this is possible because of the open pose um, see sometimes the result is can be it can be not safe for work but in this case it's kind of okay I mean this is really pretty bad pose but you get interesting result if you actually uprest this you can uppress it using web UI automatic one 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 which is this one over here if you manage to install this then you are you are kind of on the you are in the right you have enough knowledge uh, you, you don't need to know programming knowledge but you need if you manage to install web UI automatic one 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 stable diffusions to do to create the AI 
uh, generated artwork then you just keep watching YouTube and you or find information on the website you're gonna you're gonna be good or if you don't know how to install this keep trying <laughs> or you can use um, something like this this is Leonardo AI web app okay there's also mid journey there's also dream studio so this is a post this is my friends uh, my friends doing modeling back at the time okay anyway this is the uh, yeah this website uh, Leonardo AI is kind of new it's it's a bit slow sometimes I don't know but yeah anyway this is an example of a result based on the post and then I I upscale it from original you see the original looks really ugly and then after you upscale it you get a nice detail original upscale so remember there's a step over there so if you have a pose like this you can specify use image as pose uh, yep. and then set your image dimensions it prefers 512 by 512 but if your original image is tall or landscape mode you have to specify specify that this is okay this is also another example this is just a uh, I'm using the prompt without the pose but I really like the pose why because we can do like dancing video animations like I said the one I show you is like 100 frames if you're doing a dance like for 10 seconds or 30 seconds they're gonna be a lot more frames to render so there's a step uh, step by step to that you know so once again so what you need to do okay let's start again uh, you can have like a pose you can take a photo of yourself or your friend and pose it photograph is better the clean one clean pose or you can draw it if you're really good with drawing it try to get silhouette or you can use this like avatar posing tool this one is actually quite funny you can control it using slider it takes a bit of uh, Try, try and error there's a bit of learning curve but you can shuffle it this is pretty funny and then, or you can use this one on hugging face by Johnny Gata yeah try to pose it you can create like an alien character ogre whatever and after you get the pose you can then use this with control net okay control net and just uh, if you have the bone like this you don't need to do pre-processor processor. if you have a photograph you need to pre-processor and it's not just the open pose of course I haven't tried the other one scribble segmentation I'm still downloading the model each of the model that allowing you to use control net is pretty large like 5 gigabyte so there's a lots of requirements see I'm this takes five hours to download okay there's something wrong with my internet it's been really slow maybe the websites also having trouble with people downloading a lot of models five or six gigabyte yeah anyway each of this model that's using dev or open post or scribble will take some time okay to process if I'm okay let me interrupt this if I show you I think I have a drawing somewhere scribble okay anyway I can yeah for example this scribble if I use this scribble instead of pose I just need to tell it use a scribble this is like a superhero holding a baby you can yeah use it to create a pose anyhow um, I will try this in the next video. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.